Hi everyone, if you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe. Press the notification bell to be notified every time I upload on YouTube for me back again with another video. If you haven't already, um, subscribe. And also, I was wrestling training last night. It was amazing, I loved it. Um, I've been doing wrestling training for what, three years now? This is a video of me opening up about me century integration again. Well, I've done a couple of videos on it, but I don't really open up about it much. Um, on, I'm just going to put the freaking camera somewhere so you guys can... There we go. So, century integration, I've had... I was diagnosed with it. Um, so, about when I was five years old, which was some... Well, yeah, Quite a, some years ago now, I forgot. I'm not 100% sure about the year. I think it's about 2005, 2004, something like that. I think it's roughly around right about that, that time when YouTube was created. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, so, um, I think century integration isn't easy. If you want to know what, it, what century integration is, put up on Google what is century integration and the definition should pop up of what it is. If you really want to know that is. So, um, this is going to be something, isn't it? I'm going out today anyway to um, trade grid mills. They like to get the decor Christmas decorations and that sorted early. In Trigger Mills. Uh, yeah, I know it's as. Yes, it isn't Christmas. Yes, I know that. But Trigger Mills like to get ready early for all this because uh, some people like to buy the Christmas decorations early, don't they? So we're going out to Trigger Mills today in this guard. I love that shop. Prefer it to Asda. Reason being, I'll explain the reason, reason behind that. I've never been. A big fan of big shops because 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 I've got autism and ADHD and sensory integration my mum can explain this better than I can because all the all sort it mixes in all different things sorts of smells and that and it starts to affect starts to send me a bit woozy my mum would can explain this far more but far more better than I can so at some stage I will do a video with her explaining what sensory integration is and how it affects me. She can explain it better than I can, literally. Plus she knows exactly what sensory integration is. It ain't easy, literally. I have to live with it every day of my life. It doesn't go, it just stays with, stays, it just stays, staying, it just stays with me for my entire life now. There has been times where it affected me that much, I got really emotional. It ain't easy. It'll, there is people in this world that have got such an aggression. If you would ask them, they would tell you what, what it's like. With sensory integration, if you had have asked them what sensory integration is like, I never told you. It ain't, it ain't nice at all. Uh, it really, I find it hard to cope with a lot of, a lot of crowds and, and, noises and, that sort of thing. Yeah, guys, I've heard me in some videos telling the bird to zip it. Mainly because it creates a lot of racket, if that makes any sense. I do try to ignore it, but I've gone off subject now. Um, so, um, I'm alright now, though. I just thought I'd do a video talking about sensory integration and so yeah, uh, that's this is going to be some video, isn't it? So um, central integration is something I'll have forever now. With some people, it it'll go, you know, in a in a way. But with me, at one, I've got it for life. I've got it for life as well now. It ain't easy. 
but all and I find it hard to cope with a lot um, when my central integration plays up I tend to go to my mother because she because when my head's all playing up and that I tend to like to stay quiet and watch something with my mother something tight not related anything like that and um, she's really, my mother has been really there for me when my head is really, um, when my head has been playing up. I just want to let you guys know that some of you that do have central integration, you've always got someone there to support you. Literally, you've always got someone to support you. Your mum, your dad, you get the idea. This, you know what I mean? You've always got someone to support you. That's that's all I'm saying, and that are there look looking like what is it? What was the word for it? I looking out for you. That's it, and you can get through it. I find it. Yeah, what's helped me get through it is ambient music. I have done ambient music playlists on YouTube. I've done a Titanic one, a James Cameron's Avatar one, which I've named it. Well, it's on my, my, um, if you go to my YouTube channel, go to playlists, it should be in playlists. There is quite a few in the ambient music playlists. And, um, it's, that's what I do when I'm like that. And I tend to shut myself off. And go into my own world of comfort. So if you've got. No matter what your own world of comfort is. Relaxation. You go into that world. And just. Like walk around and that type of thing. That's what helps me. Well that's what helps me get through a lot. When I'm in the, a position where my central integration plays up. That's what I do when I'm in that position. And it ain't easy. I've had it for. Most of my life now. It does, it does get easier, eventually, you've always got someone to support you, I've, I know I know what it's like, because I've, I've been there thousands of times, for me, when, what starts it, is like, all sorts of noise in that, I can't cope with a lot of noise, because that's what, mainly what starts it for me, the bird, the dogs, chatting, that sort of thing. Um, you've. I just want to let you know you've always got someone there to support you. To no matter what age you are, anybody at any age can can literally get central integration in a way. No matter what your age is, I was diagnosed with it about. What about what? I've always said about what age I was and was diagnosed with it, so it ain't easy. At all. Um, and um, I haven't really talked about, say, opened up about my central integration at all, literally. Um, I don't really talk about my central integration much and what it's like in that. I don't do that at all. Only when I'm desperate and trying to put it out there and yeah it's incredibly difficult to cope with um when i'm like that i've always got something there to support me through 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 when i'm my sentient integration is playing i've always got someone there to support me through it like my, my parents my sister and my friends on facebook um, and the um, training group I'm a part of, Reach Wrestling Training Group, which well, you all know I'm training to be a pro wrestler, you all know that. Um, that for some of you that don't know, that's something new, you, new to you. It, I, I have got emotional at times where it affected me that bad. 
Um, my mum's really been there for me a lot when this injury and aggression plays up. Is there anything else? And um, I have struggled with a lot of crowds and noises and that sort of thing. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. Because my mum can't cope with a lot of crowds either. Or noise, so she knows exactly what it's like for me having a... Me, me, from when I'm in a position when the central integration's playing up, she can't cope with a lot of noise either. She hasn't got central integration, but there has been times when she can't cope with a lot of racket. But she knows what she she knows I think she, she knows what it's like for me. That's what that's what I was trying to get out there. It ain't easy at all. It does get it is difficult. But you'll manage to get through it. Love you guys so much. Peace out.